Good morning. Welcome to Ridgeview Kids Club. Scruffy, isn't it a beautiful day? What do you see? Birds. Okay. What else? Flowers. What do you hear? You hear the birds, don't you? And what do you feel, Scruffy? The sun. Okay. And, oh, you've got some fancy clothes on today too, right? Well, I am grateful and happy about all of this. This is a beautiful day, isn't it, Scruffy? And what do you have over here, Scruffy? Is that your snack? And what is it today? It's an apple. Is it your favorite? No. What is your favorite snack, Scruffy? Peanut butter. I like peanut butter too. That's a good snack, isn't it? Well, even though it's not your favorite snack, are you still gonna eat it, Scruffy? That's good. Good for you, Scruffy. Well, all of this stuff reminds me of something that Jesus talked about. He said, if you decide to trust in God, then you don't need to worry about what's on the table at mealtimes or whether the clothes in your closet are the coolest because there's much more to life than the food that goes in your belly or how you look because of the clothes that you wear. Then he said, look at the birds. Look how happy and free they are. Look how much fun they have. Don't you wish you could fly around like they do, Scruffy? Now, they don't work for their food, do they? They just flutter and fly around and God takes care of them. And you count far more to him than birds. Scruffy, I love the colorful clothes you have on today. And I wear my fancy jewelry too. You like to wear colorful clothes, don't you? Well, it's fun to wear nice clothes and they can make us look nice, but whether we have nice or colorful clothes or just plain ordinary clothes, it doesn't change who we are on the inside, does it? No, each person is really special, no matter what they wear, right, Scruffy? Besides, getting all dressed up doesn't change who we really are, does it? I mean, if we fuss in front of the mirror and spend a whole lot of time getting every hair in place, and spend a whole lot of money buying the perfect clothes. It doesn't make us any taller or shorter. It doesn't change the most important parts of who we are, does it, Scruffy? Besides, everyone is beautiful in their own way, right, Scruffy? Because God created us exactly the way he wanted us, right? So Jesus said, why worry so much about clothes? Look at the wildflowers. Look at those flowers, Scruffy. See how they grow. They don't work so they can get money to buy expensive clothes and they don't even make their own clothes, do they? But they're really beautiful, aren't they, Scruffy? God takes care of them, right? Yes, a long time ago, there was a really rich and powerful king named Solomon and he had really fancy clothes like you, Scruffy. And Jesus said, Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as the flowers. If, if God cares so wonderfully for the wildflowers, he will certainly take care of you. So trust in God and he will take care of you. Scruffy, do flowers last forever? They don't, do they? But we do. Even after someone who loves Jesus dies, they get to live forever with him. Where, Scruffy? In heaven, right? And Jesus said, if God takes care of flowers that don't last forever, then how much more will he take care of us? Now, Scruffy, why do you suppose Jesus said all of this? Do you have an idea? Oh, so we don't worry, right? I think you're right. I think Jesus taught us all these things to teach us not to worry about things that don't matter that much, right, Scruffy? But Scruffy, we do need food every day, don't we? And we do need clothes, right, to wear? I guess Jesus is teaching us to trust God for everything that we need that day and to be thankful for what we have, right? Even if it's not our favorite food, right? Or the fanciest clothes, right? And then we can enjoy each and every day, right? And if there are problems that we have to deal with or something that we're worried about, Scruffy, what should we do? We should pray right? Um, we talked about prayer last week, right? And we learned how to pray using, remind, using our hands to pray. Well, 
if we pray about what we need and pray about what we're worried for, then we can just do what we need to that day without worrying about all the other stuff. Right, Scruffy? Right. Okay. So what do, should we do right now, Scruffy? We should pray, right? Okay. So let's do that right now. Let's close our eyes. Lord, we thank you for all the good and beautiful things that we get to see and hear and feel in your beautiful world and teach us to trust you for what we need and to be thankful for and happy about whatever you give us. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Great job, Scruffy. So what time is it now? What do you want to do now, Scruffy? Oh, you, you're going to eat your snack? Okay. And what else are we going to do? What else do you want to do? Watch the birds and listen to them, right? Yes. And they are, they are really busy today, aren't they? Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We hope you join us next time for Ridgeview Kids Club. Have an awesome week and go outside and enjoy the birds today. Bye.